Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q3 of the weekly contest 375. Count several ways where Max Summon appears at least K times. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. I think this one is a very tricky problem. It You can definitely get it right, and a lot of people have mm, a couple of silly mistakes. But, uh, yeah, definitely something that you can make a mistake very easily. At least maybe the way that I did it anyway. I don't know if there's an easier way to kind of uh, contextual or visualize this problem that may make it easier. But the way that I did it is with sliding window. And uh, let me pull up the paintbrush real quick. Um, the idea here is actually a little bit different than the usual sliding window. But, um, but first of all, the thing that we have to do keep our window is just going to be um, the thing that we keep in our window uh, of, of uh, let's say we have all these numbers you know uh, uh, drawing is kind of hard on these things so yeah uh, well yeah let's just say you have an array of numbers denoted by this line and then you have a sliding window that's you know just some subset right and of course the first thing to this sliding windows is that this line window will contain at most k of the maximum element of course you should um you know you could do a loop to get the maximum element i'm not gonna go over that that's pretty straightforward so then now here is the k maximum element so what do you do right there are a couple of ways to do this um the way that i think about it and the, and the ways that i teach it and go explain it is is to kind of remove the ways to um uh, uh, to double count because it's very easy to double count and it's easy to undercount. That's the tricky part with this problem. The way that I would like to think about it is that you have, so you have two indexes, right? You have the left uh, and the right. The way that I want to think about it for this problem is that given that we're at all you go to the right because I'm too lazy to write out all the thing with my 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 uh, touchpad is that um. For, for this sliding window, you want to count the number of, uh, what do they call it? Yeah, they don't have a name for it. But I'm just going to get a good subarray. The number of good subarray that ends with R, right? So that's basically the invariant that we try to do. Uh, or that's the um, sliding window problem that we're trying to do every time. And this uh, number, this index, uh, this index contains all the number of, uh, the index that, that this number is the right uh, it does not have to be the max element so for example and maybe here I will actually just use ASCII art because it's going to take me a while to kind of set up right so let's say you have uh, I don't know one three two three three that's one input uh, we'll just add a couple more numbers uh, okay, I messed up because I forgot that for this one, it's the max element. But let's just ignore the max element and just say that, the, you know, uh, slide on three, right? My apologies, you could use imagination. But yeah, the idea here is that, okay, let's say we have a sliding window. Uh, there are a couple of cases, but I want to go with this case because I think that's the one that was tricky to me to think about. Is that initially, the way that I think about sliding windows is just slide on threes, right, on the numbers that we care about, the max element, which in this case is three, say, um, right? But the thing is that if you can look at, okay, let's say you, you want to do k is equal to three, so you have three threes at most, or at least, huh. yeah, uh, yeah, so here, right, so, if, if the current numbers are uh, um, if a current number is a, a, a three, then it it is straightforward. You know, you have this good subarray, and then you just kind of you know everything to the left. You know, you have the, what I call degree of freedom, meaning that you know you could extend it by zero elements, one element, two element, three elements, dot dot dot, right? So that that's the number of things. But let's say we uh, kind of move this a little bit. Um, you know, let's say we have. So that, that's the other thing is that if we just uh, control ending on right, so we have something like this, then we can still, you know, keep track of the number of ones in the left. Uh, the only tricky thing is that let's say you know you extend, extend, da, 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 you have this three now, right? And now this requires removal from the left because now you have four threes, right? So then now we go da, 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 right? 
So then now you remove until you have exactly three threes, right? And now that you, you've done this, now every number to the left you can choose because it doesn't matter what they are. So again, you can extend it by zero, one, two, three, and that's pretty much it. That's the whole idea. Uh, and this is my code to kind of go for it, right? So for right, if uh, we, we have a count to the count of the max element, I'll just count of the max element, left side of the sliding window, and that just th the return result, right? I'm not gonna comment it. But yeah, and then here is that obviously if it's you go to count, oh sorry, you go to max, then we increment the count. If we have too many on the count, then we want to subtract, move the window to the left until that it is less than k. Oh sorry, it is exactly k. And then here, this is also that if you have extra numbers, so let's say you remove k and you, now you, you know your your window it looks like two, three. Uh, one one uh, whatever it is three 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 whatever right uh, let's say you remove the previous three so then now it looks like this is your window um, well this isn't the tightest uh, thing so you, you want to remove the other numbers until you see another three so then you have the degree of freedom to count and from that you're able to get left plus one uh, you kind of keep incrementing until uh, num sub left is you go to to max so so the invariant here is Number sub left is equal to max. Uh, count is the number of max in the sliding window. And yeah. And then now, the, if count is equal to k, which means that it doesn't matter how, if we have more than uh, uh, k number of max elements because they're to the left and we can choose them or not, we basically added uh, left plus one to it. Why left plus one? Left plus one. It is a little bit of a coincidence, but f plus one just is is the number of degree of freedom to expand to the left, right? Because we, for example, if you have one, I'm just going to do it in order, right? Uh, let's say your sliding window is da -da 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 -da, right. Oh, I, I guess it should be zero index. My fault, right? So if this, if your left, it's at three. That means that the, there are three numbers to the left, something like that. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, 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 there's three numbers to the left, so you, there are four ways of choosing them, which is ending at the three, ending at the two, ending at the one, and ending at the zero. So that's why it is left plus one. Uh, and then after, and then at the end, you just return everything. So what's the complexity? This is going to be linear time, constant space. And that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions about this. And yeah, you can watch me sub it live in the contest now. A terrible typo. All right, good. Concept of ways to maximum and appears at least k times. Okay. So then now what? Shouldn't be that bad, but I'm trying to think. Okay. I mean, it's sliding windows. Okay. But it's not a trivial, at least not for the way that I'm thinking about it. Because you don't want to double count, that's still a tricky, oh, yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh, I see, okay, yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm being too silly. If right is equal to 
to uh, max uh, right? while count is greater than k nums left uh, if is going to max left uh, count minus one okay and then now if count is equal to k then total we add by okay so so what is left so this is to count but it's not the most I have to do one more thing um okay so while numbers of left is not equal to max increment by one uh, uh, I think actually this is fine and then Total is equal to left because that's the degree of freedom. Maybe left plus one. Uh, four and zero. Uh, okay, so this left plus one maybe. Uh, okay, yeah, let's give us. Wait, I have to mod anything? Let's give us a minute. Okay, good. Kind of number of good. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem, this contest, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.